So I'm sure a huge question floating around in the Resident Evil community is how the Resident Evil 4 remake is going to differ from the original uh, installment in the franchise, and today we're going to be covering 7 things Capcom can do to revamp the gameplay. Now this article has been pulled from GameRant.com, it was published about a week ago, it looks super interesting, um, it's definitely topics I've been wanting to like dive into, and I know you guys are sure or excited to find out what is going to be different from this and what, you know, some things we would just like to see from the remake. Um, as you know, the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remake have been out for some, quite some time now, and just some of the changes you see from the original version of those games, even just the fixed camera thing, you know, adopting the third person over the shoulder um, shooting mechanic, just that alone was, you know, a big thing. But then you take on the graphics from the new RE engine, everything under the, you know, under the sun with those remakes um, made some fantastic games. We do wish 3 was a little bit longer, of course, but I'm excited to see what Resident Evil 4 Remake is going to be looking like and how it's going to play and especially see some of the changes. So we're going to get right into it. Again, these are just opinions, so just take it with a grain of salt and let us uh, let us know what you think about all these opinions in the comments down below. It starts off by saying Resident Evil 4 is often labeled as one of the best video games of all time in the eyes of many Capcom and survival horror fans. After previous remakes of Resident Evil 2 and 3, fans have discussed whether there will be a complete change in terms of gameplay features and controls. New players to the original 2005 game are met with an unusual set of controls in a third-person view unlike the original Resident Evil titles, which featured a fixed set of camera angles. This was also present in the early beta build of the game referred to as Resident Evil 3.5 by fans. With the highly anticipated remake on the horizon, players will expect a vast amount of improvements to the controls, mechanics, and a tone with the gameplay to elevate the re-imagined re title above its predecessor. So starts off by saying number seven is more aggressive enemies. If there's anything Resident Evil 4 is famous for, it's the opening village scene where Leon Kennedy stumbles upon a group of villagers. This includes the terrifying chainsaw man known as Dr. Salvador, who chases the players down a relentless effort to execute them. The fear and anxiety of being alone in a foreign location without of any sort of help gave the game the platform that heightened the players' levels of the unknown. With the remake, a greater variety of larger number of aggressive enemies will help Capcom achieve its goal of keeping the essence of the original game but also provide a f fresh feeling. Not only will it help shift the tone to a much darker and more serious one, but it will also keep the fans on the edge of their seat wondering what will uh, turn next to entail. Number 6. Scarcity of Resources Taking the nature of Resident Evil series and the sur central survivor horror aspect into the equation, lowering the amount of ammo and herbs for healing will leave players forced to be much more careful and decisive in conserving ammo when coming up against enemies. This will also create an immense amount of tension in every encounter with the Ganados throughout the village sequence and the rest of the game. While this is very much required to produce a frightening experience, it's also vital that Capcom maintain a balance between its horror and action that is one of the reasons why fans have held on to the original in such high regard. Number 5. Stalker Enemy Done Right Both Resident Evil 2 and 3 feature stalker roles with Mr. X and the Nemesis hunting players down. Given the plethora of enemy types and bosses within Resident Evil 4, Capcom has a chance to create a stalker or stalker enemies that are more terrifying than ever before. From Dr. Salvador, Chief Mendez, Big Cheese, to the Regenerators within the island section of the game, the remake could give players another reason to fear what is to come in their search for Ashley Graham. Number 4. More Jump Scares Since Capcom has made their tonal shift clear, the remake will benefit from substantial increase in jump scares. Doing this will make players who have already experienced the original game, along with fans who are familiar with each of its stages, much more cautious in their approach. The unpredictable nature of the Lost Plagas gives Capcom the freedom to incorporate new enemy designs to the or the one present within an early concept art. It is important for the jump scares to have meaning in previous suspenseful moments in order to justify the scares or build players up for an obvious one to be left with in silence. Tools as such will capture the true survival horror fa feel fans are expecting. Number 3. More Camera Freedom Many fans have often complained in regard to the controls in Resident Evil 4, as players are only able to stand and aim along with the camera resetting and its positioning after each prompt. 
The remake will allow Capcom to provide a more accessible feel to the game and, and give players a greater opportunity to gather and feel their surroundings. While doing so, it also means more emphasis will be laid on the horror factor and the fierce nature of enemies keeping players on their toes and staying alert. Number 2. Slower Pace the pacing with the original title was often a mixture of both fast and slow within different locations and sections throughout the game. Given fans' experience of the fast-paced action sections, some will be looking forward to a complete shift toward a slower pace in the remake. Not only will this change the style of gameplay to give a new feel, but it will give time for plot and point it will give time for plot points and particular characters to be fleshed out. Adding more to what fans already know, Capcom have the potential to give players a greater sense of exploration by slowing down the pace of the game. And this will juxtapose the intention of not knowing what lies ahead. This will be beneficial for replayability and speedruns which fans will be prepared for. And last but not least, more time playing as Ashley Graham. If there is any scenario that could provide a truly anxiety driven experience, it would be playing as Ashley Graham. While this is present within the original game, it does not last long as players are back in control of Leon just after one puzzle. Leaving the players in control of Ashley for an extended period of time with a lack of firepower or resources could set the wheels for survival horror in motion, given the amount of vulnerability within the scenario. After the negative reception gained from Ashley's original presence within the game, this could transition to one of praise with Capcom elevating the playing experience with this character. And last, it just says the Resident Evil 4 remake is set to release on March 24th, 2023 on Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, and PC. So this article is truly full with some great stuff. One thing I do think that's going to benefit this game where Resident Evil 3 lacked was the longevity of the game. If, if they do actually incorporate playing as Ashley Graham, you know, kind of like how Resident Evil 2 had... Uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake had a couple portions of the game where one, you played as that little girl from school, or you could split up the, the campaign and play as either Leon or Claire Redfield. That really extended the experience and it added a ton of replayability. Now, I know Ashley's not like the main, main character of this story. You're more or less searching for her, so her portion doesn't have to be the biggest, but along with slowing down the pace of the game and just making her portion of it a little bit more extended will definitely add for a little bit of a longer playthrough um which i think capcom learned from their mistake from the resident evil 3 remake given how good it was but it just wasn't long enough and it felt like you were in and out in probably a, a good five hours maybe you know as a new player so one thing they could do right there is i think really beneficial the camera freedom thing I think is going to come straight with the game. I think it's going to play just like Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake. They're not going to make you stand still and shoot. That's just way outdated, I guess, mechanics that I don't think will fly in this day and age. So hopefully they'll just, you know, keep the pace of that like the same, like the same gunplay and the way to dodge and uh, all that stuff. I think they'll keep the same. I really don't think they're going to mess with that too much. The formula has been working. I definitely think what they said with the stalker, that's a great idea to have, um, you know, make players play a little bit more cautiously. As long as also like on top of like limiting the resources, it, make, it takes it more back to the survival horror instead of feeling like, feeling like an action hero, which you want to feel like a little bit of an action hero in these. And, you know, you want to get your kit all filled up with all the good stuff you need to get through the game. But when you're feeling a little bit OP, it's not it takes that survival horror element out of it. And just for an example, basically what I'm coming off is, you know, the first time you run through Resident Evil Village versus when you go back and you have everything unlocked and you buy that kit that gives you all the weapons of the game and you go back and through it and you're already running around with the machine gun in the first part of the game that you had to wait all the way till the end of the first playthrough to play with Chris Redfield and that kind of gun and you're just smoking everything and it's not... You're not too scared of what's going to happen. You're, you're, you're fine. But these points are all really great. I want to know out of this seven, what are your top three things from this list that you want to see in the Resident Evil 4 remake? Just leave a comment down below. Maybe comment on someone else's. Uh, share your thoughts and we'll just, you know, hash it out down there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate all the support we get here on the channel. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to smash the thumbs up button. Consider subscribing if you guys want to stay up to date on all, all the latest gaming news we cover, as well as just turn on the notification bell so you guys never miss any uploads. As always, my name is Ross, and I will see you guys in the next video.